Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and let's play Final Fantasy. Today we're going to be going through the first and second floor of the Gurgu Volcano, so let's go. Now here's a new element to the dungeons, damage floors. This one is, well, obviously molten lava. Um, take, you take one damage per step in it, and um, you avoid uh, random encounters while you're walking in it too. So if you're trying to avoid them, that's the way to go. If you want more experience, try to avoid it. But in this case, we can't. So now let's go to the second floor. Okay, now you want to pass this door and go into the second one above you. Okay, now this chest is guarded from the left, uh, so let's take a look. There's a new enemy, fire. They're um, well, weak to ice. I, if you run into two of them, I recommend using ice too here because they are pretty tough. So They're about as strong as the earth enemy that you met up with in the earth cave. You'll randomly run into one or two of them. Uh, when they're guarding a chest, so wow, that was pretty good with ice too there. Boy, that steel armor sure helps out that fighter. And we get some good gold and experience. All right. Yeah. Okay, so this one contains about 1,500 gold, so let's keep going. Okay, now up here, this chest is guarded from uh, the bottom by fire, so I will choose to fight them and show you what's in the chest afterwards. Okay, this one contains an extra silver helmet, so let's move on upward. Okay, here's a, well, not a tough enemy, but an enemy you want to use anti-fire while fighting, so let's do that. Oh, we got a little lucky there. We should be able to kill them in the first round. Fortunately, they don't show up in large groups here. Got him. All right. Now we'll just keep on going along this zigzag path until we get to the chest there. Okay, and this chest contains a giant sword. It's supposed to be good against giants, but isn't. So, let's get back. Okay, this chest is unguarded here. Lots of gold. Let's go up now. Okay, you got two chests here. You want to take the second path down here. So let's do it. Now one step to the left, I'll run into those fire enemies again. So I'll fight them and then open the two chests. Okay, this chest contains a little gold and some more gold, so let's take this path downward now. Uh-oh, Perilisks. Um, well, I'll have my first two guys run and my last two try to kill one, maybe reduce the chance of getting squinted to death. Whew, we got lucky there. They can kill you in one hit with that attack, so let's keep going. Alright, we gained another level there, so that's pretty good. Let's uh, move along. Now, I think if I take one or two steps down, I'll run into those fires again, even though they're not right next to a chest. So, let's see which one it is. 
Okay, now for the treasure trove. Silver helmets. Silver gauntlets. Both uh, duplicates of what we already have. Ah, crap. I forgot to use a heal potion. Ah, whatever. A cabin. Some gold. Now, if I take one step to the right, I will run into another new enemy. The Grey Worm. Uh, not too tough. Uh, it's weak to ice, but they're usually in small enough groups. You might as well just use physical attacks. Um, not tough at all. A vanilla enemy, if I'm not mistaken. I've been pretty lucky on this trip so far. I didn't run any of those red gargoyles yet. So, so far so good. And I didn't get killed by Paralisks either. It is real easy to die here. Okay, now let's walk around the bottom of those chests to uh, open the ones on the right there. The silver Axe. Now that will actually be useful because since uh, we gained a level here, See, his hit percentage is 70. So, let's equip the Silver Axe. And now, even though its hit percentage is less, he's still above 64. So he'll be able to deal three hits per round. And now he can deal slightly more damage with it too. So now I think it's a good idea to use the Silver Axe. I, I wouldn't have spent the gold on it though. I mean, I, I just happened to find one here, you know. So might as well put it to use for a little while before I get a better weapon. So let's do that. got a silver shield and some gold so that's all of the uh, treasure chest chests on this floor so um, now I, I definitely recommend you leave the volcano uh, use a house to uh, restore your spell charges um, don't be afraid to use your magic uh, on your way out either because well, just use a house use a tent or a cabin to uh, re restore the remainder of your HP and save and um, I'll give you some more advice when uh, I get out there so I will see you soon Okay, we're back. I've already um, used the house and the tents, so now I'm going to guide you to the next floor. Just go straight left. Okay, now before moving forward, uh, just a couple notes. Um, you want to conserve your magic a, a bit more than you did before. Um, I mean, use it when you need to, but uh, like for example, you want to save at least two of your white mage's spell charges for the very last floor, and I'll let you know when that is. So um, always make sure you save those because you're going to want anti-fire for uh, two fixed battles there. Uh, you also want to save all of your red mages level 4 and level 5 spell charges. Uh, you want to be able to cast fast for the fire fiend, and you, and you want to save cure 3 in case you take a really bad hit there. So um, this time we're going to be going to the end to the fire fiend, and uh, you'll need everything you've got to defeat her. She's one of the tougher of the four fiends, really. So um, once we're here, let's uh, keep going. There's not much treasure left, so I'll just uh, direct you direct straight to where we need to go. Now here's a new enemy, Cerebus. Um, in addition to uh, uh, being a little stronger than the hyena enemy, uh, can cast, I think it's Scorch or something, that can deal um, a, a little bit of fire damage to everyone, but not a whole lot. I wouldn't cast Anti-Fire to defend against it. And that's what happens when a Wizard Ogre can cast Ruse on itself. It can be a little hard to uh, kill there. It's not that bad. I mean, it's. I mean, anti fire wouldn't really help much against that, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, let's make it to the next floor at least. There we go. Okay, well, I think that's about all the time we have for today. That's all for, so, um, yeah, yeah, that's all for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. 
Join us next time for more Adventures in Lava Land. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.